So here we are in quadratic equations part 5. We will be learning more about sum and difference of roots. Basically we will be solving more problems involving these. So find the condition that one of the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 is unity. Unity is 1 so let the roots be alpha and 1. So I have alpha plus 1 is minus b by a and alpha into 1 is c by a that is a product of the roots. So we have substituting for alpha c by a plus 1 is minus b or a plus b plus c equal to 0. Find the condition that one of the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 may be 0. So let the roots be alpha and 0. So I have alpha into 0 is c by a that means c is 0. Find the condition that exactly one of the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 may be 0. So let the roots be alpha and 0 where alpha is not equal to 0. So I have alpha plus 0 is minus b by a, alpha into 0 is c. So b is not equal to 0 and c equal to 0. Why is b not equal to 0? Because alpha is not equal to 0. Find the condition that both of the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 may be 0. So let the roots be 0 and 0. So I have 0 plus 0 is minus b by a, 0 into 0 is c by a. So b is 0 and c is 0. Find the condition that one of the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 may be positive and the other negative. So let the roots be alpha and beta. So I have alpha plus beta is minus b by a. Alpha into beta is c by a. Alpha beta is negative. So because one is positive and one is negative. So c by a is less than 0. So c and a have opposite signs. Now for what value of a is one of the roots of the equation x squared plus 2a plus 1 into x plus a squared plus 2 equal to 0 double the other. So let the roots be alpha and 2 alpha. So I have alpha plus 2 alpha is minus 2a plus 1. Alpha into 2 alpha is c by a which is a squared plus 2. So I have 3 alpha is minus 2a plus 1 or alpha is minus 2a plus 1 by 3. Substitute for in th this equation alpha into 2 alpha. So I get 2 into 2a plus 1 by 3 the whole squared is a squared plus 2 or I get 2 into 4a squared plus 4a plus 1. When you cross multiply you get 9 into a squared plus 2. So you get a quadratic 8a squared plus 8a plus 2 is 9a squared plus 18 or a squared minus 8a minus 16 equal to 0. So a minus 4 the whole squared equal to 0 or a equal to 4. Now determine k if one of the roots of k into x minus 1 the whole squared is 5x minus 7 is double the other. So we have k into x squared minus 2x plus 1 is 5x minus 7 or kx squared minus 2kx plus k is 5x minus 7 or kx squared plus minus 2k minus 5 into x plus k plus 7 equal to 0. Now one of the roots is double the other so let the roots be alpha and 2 alpha. So I have alpha plus 2 alpha will be 2k plus 5 by k minus b by a. Alpha into, so we get 3 alpha is 2k plus 5 by k or alpha is 2k plus 5 by 3k. Alpha into 2 alpha that is 2 alpha squared is k plus 7 by k. Substitute for alpha. So I get 2 into 2k plus 5 by 3k the whole squared is k plus 7 by k. Or you get 2 into 2k plus 5 the whole squared by 9k squared is k plus 7 by k. So cross multiply you will get a quadratic k squared plus 23k minus 50 equal to 0. So you get k plus 25 into k minus 2 equal to 0 or k is minus 25 and 2. Next question, solve the equation x squared plus px plus 45 equal to 0 given that the square of the difference of the roots is 144. So let the roots be alpha and beta. So alpha minus beta the whole squared is 144 by the square of the difference of the roots. Now alpha plus beta the whole squared is alpha minus beta the whole squared plus 4 alpha beta. Substituting you get 144 plus 45 alpha beta is 45 into 4 that is 324. 
So alpha plus beta the whole squared is 324 that means alpha plus beta is plus or minus 18 and alpha minus beta is plus or minus 12. So we have four cases if alpha plus beta is 18 alpha minus beta is 12 alpha is 15 or 3. If alpha plus beta is 18 alpha minus beta is minus 12 alpha is 3 and 15. Again if alpha both are negative you get alpha is minus 15 and minus 3. So your numbers are either 315 or minus 3 minus 15. Find the value of next question. Find the value of a if 1 root of 8x squared minus 6x plus a equal to 0 is the square of the other. So let the roots be alpha and alpha squared. Why? Because one root is the square of the other. So alpha plus alpha squared is minus b by a which is 6 by 8 which is 3 by 4 and alpha into alpha cubed is c by a which is a by 8. So from here I get alpha into 1 plus alpha is 3 by 4 or 4 alpha into 1 plus alpha is 3. So you get a quadratic 4 alpha squared plus 4 alpha minus 3 equal to 0. Factorizing you get 2 alpha plus 3 into 2 alpha minus 1 equal to 0. So what are the roots? Minus 3 by 2 or half. These are the values of alpha. So alpha cubed is a by 8. So if alpha is uh, half you get a cubed is substituting you get 1 by 8 is a by 8 or a is 1 and if alpha is minus 3 by 2 you get minus 27 by 8 is a by 8 so a is minus 27. Next find the value of k so that 2x squared plus kx minus 5 equal to 0 and x squared minus 3x minus 4 equal to 0 may have one root in common also determine the common root. Now these common root questions are important. So let the common root be alpha. So I have 2 alpha squared plus k alpha minus 5 equal to 0. Alpha squared minus 3 alpha minus 4 equal to 0. Subtracting 2 from, so multiplying this I get 2 alpha squared minus 6 alpha minus 8 equal to 0. Subtract 2 from 1 so I get k plus 6 alpha plus 3 equal to 0. Or alpha will be what? Minus 3 by k plus 6. Now alpha is a root of this equation. So substituting in this equation alpha squared minus 3 alpha minus 4 equal to 0. I get minus 3 by k plus 6 the whole squared minus 3 into minus 3 by k plus 6 minus 4 equal to 0. So I get 9 by k plus 6 the whole squared plus 9 by k plus 6 minus 4 equal to 0. Or I get 9 plus 9 into k plus 6 minus 4 into k plus 6 the whole squared equal to 0. So we get a quadratic that will be 4k plus for factorizing you get 4k plus 27 into k plus 3 is 0. So k is minus 27 by 4 or minus 3. Now if k is minus 27 by 4 what is the relation? Alpha is minus 3 by k plus 6. So substituting in that equation for minus 3 by k plus 6 you get alpha is 4. If k is minus 3 alpha will be minus 1. So these are the values of alpha. Next question. Find the value of k so that x squared minus 11x plus k equal to 0 and x squared minus 14x plus 2k equal to 0 may have a common root. So let the common root be alpha. So I get alpha squared minus 11 alpha plus k equal to 0 alpha squared minus 14 alpha plus 2k equal to 0. So we here we have alpha squared is 11 alpha minus k and from the second equation what do I have? Alpha squared is 14 alpha minus 2k. So we get 11 alpha minus k is 14 alpha minus 2k. So what is alpha? k by 3. Now you have alpha squared minus 11 alpha plus k equal to 0 because alpha is a root. Substitute for k alpha. So you get k squared by 9 minus 11 k by 3 plus k equal to 0 or I get k squared minus 33 k plus 9 k equal to 0. So factorizing you get k into k minus 24 equal to 0. So the value of k is 0 and 24. So we have, see, we have uh, seen how you need to practice to excel in math. So take a pen and paper and practice each slide along with me. Thank you.